Hi, beloved wise, courageous soul. It's Christine here, dropping in with a little wisdom letter from my heart to yours. Wherever you're at, I'm coming to you from the Puget Sound here, looking out at my window and this beautiful water shining in. I am um, dropping in with something I've been wanting to return to for a while. So about a year ago, for those of you that um, did the survey I sent out about how can we stay in communication, how can we stay in connection in a way that doesn't overwhelm your inbox, stress you out, add more to what's going on in your life. Little did we know that we'd also you know, be sh- running into this pandemic and a massive transformation that we're going through in this world. And But I'm going to go back to what you said to me. Many of you said, and this feels really good to me, which is once a month dropping in with a wisdom video that hopefully will be as short as I can make it. You know me, I like to go deep. So this format is a little challenging for me, which is why I do the weekly podcast where you can always come to Feminine Power Time, which I've been doing almost weekly, you know, for four years now. So this is a little bit more challenging, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to give you a little perspective um, kind of today on where we are and where we're going so you can start to think about how to frame and structure the September, October, November, December, and going into January timeframe. We need structure. We need support. We need Sangha community. We can't just wait for the world to stop or settle down because it's not going to. We are in the midst of what I call a sacred transformation, which is a transformation happening at a personal level, a relational level, a global level, a social level, like you're aware of this. If you attended my sacred transformation wisdom session I did, I think it was in June or July, July 4th weekend, you'll know about this. If you haven't, do check it out. It's where I go way deeper into all of this, what sacred transformation is, all the different levels of transformation, ways to think about what's how to actually go through this in a sustainable way. Just go to femininewisdomsession.com. But what I'm going to do is take one little piece out, which is called the triangle of transformation, to give you some perspective about how to understand what's happening for you on three different levels and how to think about what is the support, what is the structure, what is the path, what is the way I walk through this in a way that's going to feel empowering, stabilizing, and healing. Okay, and then I'm going to share with you kind of what's coming up, how um, what I'm focused on. I just finished my kind of mid-year power pause and my planning and my pathing. Noah and I are like, okay, really, where should I focus? What's my part? And so there's some exciting things that are coming up, including um, a wisdom request, wisdom quest retreat that's going to happen wherever you're at in the world, wherever you're living at in November. We have some professional feminine leadership training starting in September. There's personal mentoring that I'm holding space open for right now, and there's other things going on. So I'm going to share that with you, and we'll see how this pattern goes. My goal is, my intention is once a month, drop in with a wisdom letter, and then another time, drop in with kind of like, here's what's going on, so that you don't have to have 8,000 emails from me about what's going on, because my inbox has almost 10,000 unopened emails. So I don't know. I don't want to be, I don't want to be another one of those, but I need to connect with you to let you know what's happening. So let me just share with you, let's do the perspective first, okay? The wisdom bite, and then we'll share kind of what's coming and how you can lean in for more support and connection and superpower. I'm actually going to take my glasses off for this. And I'm going to pull up a video, a slide here in a second, but I want you to go ahead and make a triangle, okay, like this with your fingers. This is what's called the triangle of transformation. And there's three points that we are operating in, you and I, and we are going through personal transformation, social transformation, systemic transformation, all at the same time. So I'm going to pull up the slide here and take a look at this. And so you'll see on the left-hand side, what's happening right now is every single person on the planet is needing to and is going through, whether they're embracing it or not, needing to heal and release the past, needing to go into our hearts, into our bodies, into our energy systems, into our relationships and heal the things that we have not healed. And so that we can actually release them and be free, you can be free to be able to express and elevate and ascend and be a higher, more evolved you. But you can't, we can't do that. We can't do that personally. We can't do it socially if we don't heal and release first. This is part of what is happening at a social level. If we don't actually heal and release the pain that's there, we can't actually go to the next place. And I'm not going to dive super deep into all of this. Again, I 
dove deep into this in the sacred transformation session, but I want for you to understand right now, all three of these things are happening for you personally, that healing and releasing the past, and not that we have to do it from a place of suffering, but we do have to be conscious about it and be in relationship with it. So in all of my leadership groups and all of my trainings right now, we're getting really conscious about what are we each healing? What is it that we are releasing so that we can actually create from a place of wholeness versus woundedness in ourselves? Okay, so that's one part that's happening. Woo, over here. Woo, we got to, right? And then we got to come over here. And at the same time, we have to be preserving and stabilizing for the now. So as we're going through this transformation and this healing for ourselves and also systemically, what we have to be preserved and stabilized or else we're going to be wobbly bobbly so i mean that at a at a at a at a financial level at an energetic level at a life force level and also there's things that need to be released but some things we want them to stay to preserve things that are true in how you're working things that are true in all of the education you've had things that are true in your relationships so you want to be really clear about what am I preserving and integrating those things, not throwing them off to the side. I have so many women who are like, well, I don't, you know, I, I, a couple clients, mentorship clients who are like, you know, I've been a doctor for so long or I've been a therapist and I just don't want to do that anymore. Like, I really want to, I'm going to go to coaching school. And I'm just like, okay, okay, if you want to take some coaching classes, I've taken coaching classes, but you have a PhD, you're a therapist, you're a doctor, you're this, like we're going to integrate all of those things. Just like I'm an MBA mystic. I didn't get rid of the MBA to be a mystic. I brought the two things together. I preserved the MBA. So there's things inside of you that are wanting to be preserved. And it's the same thing if you look at just what you need to stabilize, and that's needed in order for you to go up to this top of the triangle where it says create and lead the new. And so you absolutely 100% if I could like make a sky like of an airplane come out and say that we knew this, you had the ability to create the reality that you desire for yourself in this world. We have the ability to birth new worlds, create, imagine new possibilities and lead the way. And if you miss the Sacred Transformation podcast series, also check that out because I go deeper into that there too. But if you're trying to only focus on what's coming and you're not preserving and stabilizing, you're going to exhaust yourself, your team, your resources, your life force. And this is, you know, true for me where I'm at right now with overwhelmed and over it coming out. And I'll be talking more about this in the months to come. It's really easy. I've spent 10 years teaching this work, three years writing this book to want to just launch it into the world and off I go and spend all this money and time and resources. And then you know what? I'll be exhausted. I'll go into debt and my team will go crazy. And I'm not doing that. Like part of the reason you all that what's happening is happening is because it's like the universal two boy for to the to all of us is humankind saying wake up slow down cuz the way we are working and the way we are living and operating in the society is not working for this planet or for the people and you and I both know that and so what's happening is a massive slowdown so you can start to look around and say in my own life what's not working in the way we operate in our education, in our government, in our healthcare, what's not working? What's not working socially for me and how things are? And there's so much more to say about this. But you know, I said, I actually taped you all. I made another video. It was 25 minutes long. And Noah said, Christine, you can't send out a 25 minute video. You've already done a class on this. You did a podcast series on it. Okay. So I'm just going to pause there and say, please go check out the podcast series on Feminine Power Time. Go check out the Sacred Transformation session to go deeper. But for today, this wisdom piece is all three of these triangles. All three of these transformations are happening for you personally. And you can either be conscious about it or you can just let it happen to you. And it's a lot more painful and, and a lot more you'll feel like a windsock versus actually being in conscious co-creation with these things. And start to look at how it's happening in the society. And so instead of feeling like you have to react to everything, like look at all of these things are happening at the same time. So where do we go from here? So looking ahead, here are three things that I believe we all need. 
structure, support, sangha for, and simple practices that we do that keep us harmonized and stabilized. So one more time, structure, support, sangha, community, and also s- simple practices that keep us stabilized. And I would actually add superpowers in there, but I'm just going to focus on those four. And so thinking about what is the support that you need that you don't have? What is the sangha that, that you need and community you, ha- you need, but you don't have? Or what is already there and celebrate that? Are you, do you have the practices that are bookending your day, creating the rhythm for your week? Like these are things that you can't wait for the world out there to slow down, get, go back to normal. God, please don't go back to whatever that was. And so this is the time to bring these in and to pause and to ask what those are. And so here's what's coming from me to you. This is part, this is my, this is my work in the world. I feel so grateful to have done all the work I've done to be able to stand here today, I feel like I was born for this time right now. I I, I really do. And so I feel like I said to know the other day, we were looking at all of the, trying to kind of path out everything and time it. I go, I feel like I have so much to give. And, and how do I give it? How do I offer it? How do I put it into the field in a way that you can receive it? that's paced, that paces me so I don't burn out because that would be really crazy to put a book out called Overwhelmed and Over It, which is all about sustainable success and doing things differently and changing the way we work and live in a way that burned me out and or overwhelmed you. So here's what's next for right now. Number one, I have opened space for five women who are ready to do deeper personal mentorship, to harmonize, to rise, to get integrated on the inside, to bring all the parts of themselves together, to get their masculine and feminine in together, and to get really clear on what their part is. And these are three to four month mentorships. And I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail about that, but if that's part of the support structure you're working with, there's a whole page on harmonize to rise.com. And there's videos on there and I'm doing connections and calls with people this month in August before the book comes out in October. So I'll be starting those in August and September. And if you're one of those women, I am here, I'm calling you and um, let me know and connect. And the best way to do that is by going to that website and then filling out the application or just reaching out to me at love at arilo.com. Number two, there's a feminine leadership training happening in September. It's called Gather and Guide Your People. This is for people who either already have a community or are already working with people with clients or know that working with people in small groups or in groups or online and gathering people, showing up in other people's spaces or calling their own is theirs to do. And you want to do it in a way that creates transformation and lasting connection and is sustainable for you. And I've been teaching online since 2009. I've been teaching this work in some ways of how to actually create lasting connection and transformation and also show up and lead in a way that I call the Art of Sacred Circle for for five years now. And so this will be a 10-week training that happens, starts in September. And so I'll put a link here on the page so you can find out more about that. And so those, that's what's happening now in August. And then in September, there'll be the Equinox. And I'll be opening up finally the Stay Harmonized practices for staying cl- centered, clear, and calm. Been waiting for this for over a year and a half. So keep an eye out around Equinox for that. October 6th, the book comes out. And I'll be reaching out for those of you who'd like to be book doulas with me and help bring mid- bring doula in this work to the world. So I'll be looking for 108 women or more that would love to help. So more on that soon. And more will be happening in October around that. And then there will be the Wisdom Quest, the annual Wisdom Quest it happens November 13th, 14th, and 15th. We'll also be doing stuff the week before and kind of the week after. So we're going to kind of bookend the um, the the election, and you're going to be able to do it right from your house. So put those dates on 13th, 14th, 15th. I'll be stopping by with some more information. And then in late November, we'll also be opening up the Feminine Leadership Councils, which are for women who are here to reimagine and redesign the way that we and the world work and are really ready to do it from that place of feminine leadership. So more on that coming um, a little bit later. But for now, Harmonize and Rise, if you're ready for one-on-one mentorship, I'm here to, um, if you are a person who's gathering and guiding people established or emerging, come and that invitation will be ready soon but you can um, you can let me know you're interested 
and then more to come on all of the rest. And the best way to stay connected to me is through the Feminine Power Time podcast. Even if you've never listened to a podcast before, it's so easy. And I'm there every week. And um, and yeah, that's it. So I want to send a blessing to complete today. So deep breath in and out. Beloved, wherever this finds you, may you feel the presence of grace with you, above you, below you, behind you, the light, the love, the support with you step by step. May you know there's no rush, there's nowhere to run to. It's about being present. And may you open to that support, that sangha, that structure, May you know and trust that it's not only okay, it's essential to put stakes into ground and say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this this fall. I'm going to do this this winter, even if you don't know what's going to happen. Because if you hold your breath or you run like a sprint or you keep in the swirl, you're going to get swirled around. But if you open up to receive, to see and are willing to go into this heart of yours so much is possible i look forward to being on this journey with you so grateful for our connection sending you off much love